Logan Kane here, and welcome to episode 20, the big 2-0 of Paper Sorcerer. Not a bad, you know, nice round number to finish off a cell block. Take out a boss, see what this boss has got in store for us. Or can I avoid him? <laughs> Barring the path in front of you is a... <laughs> Bearing the path in front of you is an large grim warrior. Good job, guys. Dot, dot, dot. He silently points at you and hefts his axe and advances. Okay. Well, let's fight. This guy looks interesting. Apparently he's mute. Looks like his face is all wrapped up. But I figure, start out with a challenge. Hit me, baby. And rending strike? No, that does nothing. Let's do a blood rage. I haven't done Blood Rage in a while. Oh, I was gonna switch my puppet back to not being a mage. Oh well. Oh well, it should be all right. Let's poison him, because poison is awesome. Perhaps more importantly, that puppet, blind him. Then he's blind and mute. What's he gonna do? Hear stuff? Murderous Cleave. Oh, that hurts, that, that hurts a lot. Oh wow. I could see myself losing this fight when one hit nearly takes me out and blinding fire does nothing. But poison worked. Poison certainly worked. Let's do a brutal strike. Get some damage in on him. And uh, yeah, shield stance. Even though the challenge didn't really help anything. Let's try and scorch him. I'm sure he'd like to be scorched. And then flamed, I guess. Why not? Let's flame him. Brutal Strike! Oh, I really wish my puppet had Brutal Strike and all the, or Power Strike or whatever that is and all on. It'd be much, much preferable to slight damage with fire. Okay, let's see what the flame does. Zero. Okay, no damage with fire. Whatever. What's Ancient Power gonna do? Oh, wow. All sorts of stuff up that I couldn't read. Sounds terrifying. Let's go with the defender. And there's really, I I get I kind of kind of drew this out a little bit in the last one, but these battles, I don't feel like I'm part of the battle. I feel like I'm gonna drop stuff on this hex knight, and then whatever happens happens. I guess that's kind of how it works in any game. But he's going to do a murderous cleave and somebody's... Yeah, he one-hit my sorcerer who is full health and full defense. So I don't really have any... I have no recourse. What am I going to do? I can't lower his damage output. I can't really protect my guys. I can't really raise my damage output enough to be meaningful. And then raising him just sounds like a waste of a crystal. I'd rather just do the fight again. I get the feeling that the last boss is going to require all the crystals I can muster. And the, the flame's not even hitting him, so I may as well just attack anyway with a meaningless magical body. And also, I do have challenge active. I have challenge active. He's attacked twice. Three times now. All three times have not hit the skeleton. So I don't even know if that mechanic works. Well, none of those look interesting. Right click on one that's not active so I can actually go back. Alright, I guess restore defense? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, the puppet died? I didn't even realize he died. I guess he was bleeding. Oh, he's got a little bleeding animation, huh? That's funny. A dead puppet bleeds. Alright. Maybe. There is one thing that I have neglected to mention. One little part that I can do for strategy. I can go back to the base. I forget what it's called. The sanctuary. And in that base, I can do something. I can increase energy levels, HP, defense, damage, other abilities of all my characters. 
That sounds very, very useful. But it's so expensive, I feel like... Oh. Here we go. I'm gonna raise the attack of my Minotaur again. Oh, that just used all my crystals. So I don't... I don't really know. You know, I was thinking that my sorcerer has that shield. And I was complaining about that last episode. How the shield seemed useless. But if the shield lasts until I'm hit, that would be awesome. Oh, there was an attack with a defensive aid somehow. And now I'm gonna die, because why wouldn't I? Not a lot of option here. I guess I should just look at the energy ratings. I should know I should know any three energy before the Minotaur can do anything useful. Similar for the skeleton, really. Hex of the Nine Dragons, that sounds like it's just gonna kill me. Oh, no. Massive debuffs though. This will do a refresh rune. And can I brutal strike yet? Okay, that's four. Alright, I need four energy before I can do anything useful. And then Murderous Cleave, if it hits the Minotaur, he's dead. Yep. And all that's left is a skeleton. Skellington. Which is fine. Skeleton is... F Whoa, did I just right-click on Awakening Rune and it actually went back? Eh. Must have glitched. <laughs> Alright, let's attack him. I feel like I might actually be close to beating him. He's taking a lot of damage. And uh, there's an evade. And his defense damage is getting lower. So when the defense damage lowers, that means they have less defense, from what I can tell. And the regular damage raises, it also means they have less attack. Or less defense. Let's do a defensive strike. Oh. Well, then that's that. Alright, well, let's try it again. Except this time, I'm gonna remember to change the damn puppet. Alright, puppet, where are you? Actually, you know what? I'll fast forward to the battle. Be right back. I had some technical difficulties there. I was planning on waiting until my skeleton could do 100 damage to the enemy dude here again before resuming the video from fast forward. But it turns out once I can do around that damage, he died pretty quickly. So chances are if I would have res somebody last time, it would have been fine. But oh well, 3,000 experience, 210 gems, 210 gems. I can't buy anything with 200, I can't even buy level one skills with 210 gems. Well anyway, my sorcerer is up to level 16, I don't care. It doesn't matter. So my arcane energy is stronger, the enemies will take longer to kill, la 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 la. I know I make it sound depressing, and I still enjoy the game, I just wish there was more strategy. Anyway. During my difficulties, 
I decided to change my puppet up a bit, and he has the proper body on, body on now, and he has 90 defense instead of 30, so that helps a lot. And that's useless, pretty much. What, who's going to use that? As you walk across the platform, you feel an aura of hatred sweep across you. Turning around, the sight in front of you makes your skin crawl. A shadowy, human-shaped apparition is rising out of the body of Barius. Oh, I guess that was Barius. Never be defeated. Must protect her. Well, I'm guessing they're talking about the chick who's the spirit of the binding of the book, or the spirit of the book, whatever. The shade points at you and begins in a, to advance towards you. Um, don't kill me now. This is not cool. Maybe he's protecting the spiritual goddess person, because, and the spiritual goddess person is trying to kill herself to save everybody. I mean, that... Somewhat makes sense. She, She's the spirit of the book, but she's telling me to go break the binding of the book. If we break the bindings, wouldn't that destroy her? Or maybe it'll release her soul. I don't know. But what I do know is this, this guy looks serious. So let's try and poison his shade and do as much damage as possible. Oh, wow, he took a lot of damage. 40 damage and evaded the defensive hit. Ugh. There, another, evaded the defensive hit. I don't do more damage, it's not like I crit him. Does the poison work? The poison does work, yay! But yeah, it's not like I crit him. Like, I evade... Excuse me? <coughs> it's not like I evade hitting his armor. If that was the case, I would be doing a lot more damage, right? I hit him in the eye. I should do a lot more damage, it should be like a crit strike. But it's not. It's just I simply missed his armor and only hit him. Whatever that means. Let's scorch him. Maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to set him on fire. And if I can do that, then I'm not worried at all. But it looks like this battle's supposed to be relatively easy. He's not doing a lot of damage like he did when he was alive. Of course, he can speak while he's dead. He couldn't speak when he was alive, but... Yes, he's doing more damage. Or, he's doing less damage, and I'm doing more damage. So that's a thing. Skeleton could use more energy. And so could my sorcerer, really, but I'm going to go ahead and blackball him. And Minotaur, you need to attack. Do a power strike next turn. Hopefully that'll finish him off. Because I'm sure anybody watching this, good on you. This is just awful. Okay, there it goes. 210 gems. Still, even combined, I can get one level 1 skill. Ooh. Another 3,000 experience, though. And one scroll of the bear. Permanently increased max HP by 5. Doesn't even sound useful. Reform. Skeleton has reform. I didn't even... Level 2? Did I have that before? My skeleton can regenerate, though. That's really cool. Cause physical damage and continued bleeding. Okay, so my assassin has bleed now. And a chance of... Countering attacks, that all sounds really good. But anyway, let's go up here and then the voice is going to take over and pull me over and disband everything. As you approach the bindings, you feel yourself begin to recite the chant of unmaking. It's a very uncomfortable feeling. Your body moving of its own accord, still. Again, for like the third time. Yeah, this is the third time. Yeah, everything shakes and the binding snaps. It's all tremorous and broken and blah, blah, blah. And boom, I'm back here. Odd, I feel strangely sad. Oh well, that's another floor you've completed now. I guess Barius truly was raised by witches, to be able to pull off a trick like that. You did well to defeat him, sorcerer. I can feel a power in you now that wasn't there when we first met. However, I have some bad news. It seems the four heroes who sealed you away have entered the book. From what I hear, they've begun guarding some of the bindings. I can sense their power. You must be extremely careful from now on. Oh great, so things are just going to take even longer from now on. I think that's what you really mean to say. 
In fact, the Overseer of Block 5 is Risharash, the ranger, one of the heroes who locked you in here. Yes, you've already told us that the four heroes are there and guarding some of the bindings. Of course the next block is going to have one of the four heroes, Derp. I'm sure you remember his skill. With that face, perhaps he should train his arrows towards women's hearts instead. I guess he's hot? Rangers are hot? The shop zombie passes by, a whirlwind of paper floating in his wake. After picking one up, you find that it's a promotional flyer reading, NEW ITEMS IN STOCK! BUY NOW, OR FOREVER REGRET YOUR FOOLISHNESS. Alright, I'm probably gonna take a look at this stuff, but you guys don't want to see that, and I know this has been going on very long, so I'm just gonna hurry up and say BYE!